Hi, we are at the end of this week that I consider as a celebration of books and, and children uh, because I'm celebrating that a year ago my book Dreamers came out and it was published. And for that, I've been doing a, a book way. Um, I'm, tomorrow I'm going to post a video that I made with a song, but I also wanted to take some time to answer some questions. I have had questions um, uh, had made to me before, and I had been I had not been able to properly answer them. So right now I want to take a little bit of time just to do that. And this is a question that I had from Bobby Hopkins, who is a teacher, and she is participating in Grade 19, uh, which is a, an, an initiative for reading books. And uh, she has some questions about the artwork in Dreamers, and I'm gonna give you some really brief answers about about. Uh, uh, why I put some things in Dreamers. The first one is I'm being asked why the monarch butterfly in every page. Well, the monarch butterfly is a symbol of migration. And as a symbol of migration, it's also a symbol of hope because migration happens when people, animals, plants, and many other things in the world go to a different place so that they can thrive, they can have a better place to live, to take care of their families, their young, um, and where they will be, they will be safer, there will be more food, um, there will be work, and they can go to school. But in the case of monarch butterflies, they do migrate looking for um, a place where to have their young, to have their, 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 their baby butterflies, which they don't start as butterflies, as you know, they start as as, um, as gusanos. We call them uh, gusanos, we call them caterpillars in, Spanish, in English. And But they do have a, a, an amazing journey. I will encourage you to look more about the migration of uh, monarch butterflies because you will be amazed how they do it. Do you know how they are so delicate? You will be amazed when you learn how they migrate from Mexico, actually, into the United States. So there is another question, the type of birds show, show in the illustration. And in the, in the illustration, there are some birds, like here, and these are um, barn swallows. And as you can see, I painted them right here, because they are also migrant birds. And they do migrate sometimes from as far as from South America into the United States and sometimes further. And they also migrate in different places of the world. And there is another question. Uh, why do bats enter the story? Well, because bats are also migrant animals. Not all bats migrate. But the free-tailed bat migrates. Only the females, they come from also from South America and Mexico and they come into the United States in places where they can have their babies. So only the females um, migrate and they come to places into the United States like sometimes in Texas and other, other areas and there they form colonies in which they can have their babies and feed them and once it gets it starts to get cold they go back south so that they can also survive the the cold part of the year. Uh, let's see about the sugar skull. Yes, the sugar skull, let's see, is part of the gifts that this mom with her son bring in their, in their backpack. And to me, the sugar skull is a representation, actually, of life. In life, there, is, there are many things. There are stories. There are there is love, there is there are tears, there is death. All of that is part of and many, many other things are part of life. And the sugar skulls are something that here in Mexico are, are used as part of the celebration of the Day of the Dead. And they are something to something sweet to have when we think about, about life and death. So for me, the skeleton, it appears in many of my in my books, in my work, uh, like in Just a Minute and in Just In Case, because it is a companion of life. And it reminds me how wonderful it is to be alive, to be able to enjoy and endure and, and just go through our journeys and, and know that um, we carry with us all of those stories and that we 
are joyful because we are allowed to be alive. Um, same as for the dog. They are asking me, what about the dog? Well, the dog, and they call it a sholotu, which is completely right. Uh, that's, um, I actually m made the dog as a companion. And the way I painted it is uh, based in and inspired in the designs uh, that the people from pre-Columbian times and from before um, Mexico was, was conquered, um, the communities were depicting the dogs as companions, and 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 I took from uh, from some designs of how dogs were painted by people back then, and, uh, and in the same way I represented the dog that is here. To me, this dog is one of the gifts that this mother and the, her baby brought to the journey into the United States when they when they migrated, and the dog represents a companion, a companion both in death and life. And like all animals that I put in 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 dreamers, it is a representation of how animals and nature is actually they are all our teachers. They teach us so much. They teach us about how we should respect each other, about how how to enjoy, about how to be in this world, about our presence in this world. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, the pillow with the eye, of course, which is right here. This one, to me, is... Uh, I, I, I made many of the things here represented as they are created by artists and artisans here in Mexico. And to me, this, this heart with the eye uh, represents, like I say, this is our, these are the gifts that this woman brought to with her. She was carrying in her backpack. And she carried many things with her, like, like her love for life, like a companion, like things that heal, like her fire, kind of like a volcano. And she also brought her intuition and her very unique way to see things and and that that beating heart that makes her create go journey and go to places so this to me is a representation of um the the intuition and the and the unique way that we all have to see things and let's see the story of the skirt the skirt uh well <laughs> the skirt is is something very meaningful to me because uh, I made this book inspired in my own journey as an immigrant and when I was an immigrant I didn't feel like I had enough to come to the United States to be received as someone as the United States in fact I had been denied a visa which means I didn't have a permission first to come to the United States so I didn't come and when I finally gave it they gave them to me I felt like um like I wasn't sure if I was worth of that permission. Um, and it is a long story. I just tell you that that's how I felt. And I know that a lot of people feel like that. Like we want to come to the United States um, feeling that we are not worthy and we are not enough to come to a place like this. I know that's how I felt. And um, at the time, I knew I had to dress well to come to the, um, the immigration officer, they will give me permission to cross into the United States. And I didn't have the correct clothes. I didn't have clothes that look like I was uh, someone who would not stay into the United States to work illegally. That's what they try to, to, to do. They, you, you kind of need to prove that you are not going to work uh, in the United States without permission if they let you in. So the, what the rumors always say is that you have to dress up well. But... I didn't have the right clothes and I remember uh, when I was making dreamers about that feeling of not feeling that I had the right clothes to cross so I decided I was gonna dress this woman with this with this skirt and what this skirt is really made of is made out of paper and it is made out of paper because when I was a little kid my mother sometimes she made skirts out of paper for me and um, Actually, she made some boots made out of paper because I was going to be in a festival. And she didn't want, she didn't have the money to buy me the boots that I was going to wear for that festival. And she made some out of uh, cardboard for me, and I didn't like it. I felt that that just signaled how poor we were and how it's sufficient, like, you know, these cardboard boots. 
Um, so I decided to give this woman uh, a skirt made out of um, paper, just like the things that my mother used to make for me, which I didn't see them like the other time. But now I realize how creative and how beautiful they were. And the other thing that I, uh, the other story I can tell you about this skirt is that women in, in the mythology of the Aztecs here in Mexico, they uh, sometimes name the sacred women, the powerful women, they uh, name them um, because of their skirts, like the power was in their skirts. So you will have, for instance, like the woman with a skirt made out of the Milky Way, the woman with the skirt made out of snakes. Can you imagine how powerful that would be? Well, I decided I was going to give this mother in dreamers uh, a skirt that will signify her strength. And I gave her a, a, a skirt made out of paper. And here she doesn't know yet that paper is such a beautiful, valuable thing. She doesn't know yet that someday she is going to make her books, her art in, on paper, that she's going to use it to create Paper is her power. She doesn't know it yet. And perhaps when she's crossing into the United States, she believes that she doesn't have the right clothes. But in fact, what she's wearing, it is her power. Someday she's going to do and create incredible things with those papers. And that's the story of the skirts. And um, I just want to thank uh, Debbie Hopkins and, and everybody who has been asking me about these elements in Dreamers. And I hope that I answer some of your doubts here and we can always have a conversation about it. Let me know what you think about this. And if you have thought something uh, about different answers about this, I'm really happy to have the opportunity to have a dialogue about how we create, how we see the world and how also you see books um so with that i thank you very much and we continue with this celebration <laughs>